Hi and welcome to the Caffeination. This is yet another new episode. This is yet another new camera, actually the third one tonight. And this is yet another new wonderful machine we're here to test. This is the DeLonghi EC860. It is a wonderful semi-automatic machine. It's also a semi-automatic automatic, so it means it can actually produce an automatic cappuccino with this wonderful add-on milk tank with a built-in frother. Uh, we're not going to be testing that right here, so there's going to be a second clip with that actually working, because we'd like to keep it simple here. There's also a wonderful frother wand that you can put in off to the side, but none of this will actually work unless you turn the machine on. Power button's right up here. Nice and easy. It goes through the process, actually makes sure everything's ready, and it's ready to be programmed or it's ready to rock. Over here we have the cup warmer button. It's a separate button which I absolutely love that actually controls the entire radiator on the top. It's separate from the boiler that's inside the actual unit, and it heats up fairly quickly. So just from pushing the button right then until right now I can actually start to feel it heating up but since we're not going to be using it because the cups are already warm we're going to be rocking that out right there so now we are set with a ready warmed up uh, machine we have the wonderful uh, coffee that we're going to be using today and it's already set up we have the single double and uh, the pod biscuits so uh, they all have this wonderful uh, heavy feel to them. They are uh, kind of interesting to look at because there's only one hole at the bottom, so it's uh, compressed even more than normal. Uh, fits in here. There's a lovely little spring system. The only thing that I've noticed about this is that uh, I'm always a little bit afraid that I'm going to pop the puck out or do something like that. But once it gets in there, that sucker is not moving. The whole thing is really nice and heavy and weighted. Everything is uh, pretty much all metal. The water tank is over here. Let me make sure I get this out and don't spill anything. So it actually holds 40 or 35 to 40 ounces of water. This one's around half full. There's a lovely little drip tray at the bottom that you can actually see with a little floaty in the back. I don't know if you can actually see that. We'll uh, get a closer shot of that. But uh, everything is pretty much ready to rock at this point. So now we're going to take our wonderful coffee that has already been ground in the Breville Smart Grinder. You can find the review of that on the website. We're going to use the included scooper and tamper all in one shot. One lovely little scoop right there. Drop it in. Tamp it down. Give it a nice little twist. Brush that off. And now we're ready to rock. So it goes up in here, turns around. And what I like about this is if you do it correctly, if you pack it too tight, it won't let you put it in at all. But if you do it correctly, it has a nice real snug feel. Everything feels very uh, quality make. And then what you do, since we're only brewing a one, is you push this button right here. It has a little bit of a pre-infusion, which you can hear right there, where it wets the ground slightly. And then it throws enough uh, water through there to actually make a really decent uh, espresso. So uh, as we're uh, viewing this, What that did actually right there, uh, my mistake in setting it up, was that when you hit it for the first time after you turn the machine on, you actually have to program it for how much water you want in your shot. So when you hit it, it does the pre-infusion, but when you hit and hold, it will actually do, do a slight pre-infusion and then start to push enough water through until you let go. So then after that, that is programmed in as the shot. So if we're going to do another one, take this right here, pour it into the slightly larger Bodum Pavina glass. Put it off to the side using the same uh, demo test glass. Hit it once, and now you'll see it'll actually push in the same amount of water as before. Of course, this second shot's being pulled with the same espresso as the first, so I'm not actually going to drink this one, but you understand what we're talking about. And it cuts off right there, approximately the same amount of water as before, and you're ready to roll. Over here, there is a button once for hot water to come out, twice for steam, so you can froth your milk over here. You have the uh, cappuccino button and the latte buttons over here, and you have your double espresso button down here. 
So uh, actually, it's still got a, a little bit of a coffee out of that one. So if I was making an Americano, I'd just throw it in there. So that's your overall rundown. We're actually going to talk about the finer points of this in a little bit. All right, now we are going to try and get a little dangerous. Going to pull a little Darkwing Duck here. We have our wonderful Treasure Island mug. And drop that in there. Make sure everything fits. Pop the frother up. Tilt it in. I think we're good to go. I don't think I can get the... There it goes. The logo's out in the front. That's good. Now there's nothing in here right now. So what we're going to do is if you look at the bottom of the basket, I don't know if you can actually see this. Yeah, you can see the one indentation right here is actually the size of a scoop. It'll look a little image of a scoop. This is one. There's two of them there. That's two. That's the double shot. And then if you look at this little guy, there's a funky little circle with a tab on it. And that is for the espresso pod. Since I don't have any of them here, we're going to put that up there and forget about it. So we're going to go for a double shot because big hitters, everybody likes a winner. Drop that in. Take the wonderful thing over here. We're going to drop two fun scoops in there. That's one. I hate wasting espresso. So uh, whenever I see people with the grounds all over the places they're making a beverage, it really bothers me. In fact, that even irritates me. Sweep it into the middle a little bit. And there we go. So, just to make sure I'm not messing around with anything. Up, over to the side. In. The one thing that most of these machines have is kind of a low center, so you have to watch out which mugs you use. Usually for this, I use the uh, double walled Pavina glass, but unfortunately, it doesn't fit. In fact, it doesn't even fit if you tilt it this way. It's not a big problem, it's just uh, a little harder to show you how, how uh, accurately things foam. Now, to actually learn about what we got going here, now you can actually see the lights, so it's uh, a little easier to tell you about this whole situation. When you first turn it on, you see all the lights going down like this. It's because the machine's initializing. Over here, this actually tells you what is currently plugged into the machine. So back when we had just the hot water and the frother wand plugged in, it would have only had this lit up. But now that we have the milk tank plugged in, it actually has the... Uh, the cappuccino and the latte button so you can kind of see overall there's a lot of lights and a lot of indicators so that's what you need to do and uh, if the lights over here are flashing like they were at the beginning of the last video that actually means that the boiler inside is not actually up to temperature if everything's solid you are good to go light is green trap is clean so here we go we're going to attempt to do a wonderful little cappuccino here Theoretically, this should just work. I'm hoping. I already have it pre-programmed. Right now it is dispensing the hot milk foam in there. And then it's going to drop the uh, lovely little cappuccino shot down into the middle of it. They say if you like a hotter cappuccino, what you should do is push the clean button beforehand to shoot hot water down in here, then you get rid of that, and you brew it after that. I personally like a little bit cooler of a cappuccino. I gotta tell you, th this is one of those things where this is if you're trying to make a beverage like this, it usually takes a couple shots and you're not really sure how everything goes if you're trying to make it on your own. But with a kind of a super automatic, semi-automatic machine like this, it really takes the guesswork out of it and makes you look a lot more fancy than you actually are. I love these kind of machines overall. And especially the ones with the milk tank, even though I personally don't enjoy very many milk-based beverages, the simplicity of the whole thing kind of just, it, it really does a, a neat number on everybody. And when, if you look down in there, that is actually a real honest to goodness cappuccino. The espresso is down in the middle of it, swirl it around a little bit. That actually is some pretty thick foam, so. And that's actually a fabulous cappuccino. So, there you go. Here we are. 
That just about wraps it up here for the review of the DeLonghi EC860. Thank you very much to the fine folks at the DeLonghi for sending this machine along so that we could test it out for you and uh, be able to showcase all the wonderful little features. And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for actually stopping by this wonderful little video rundown. If you're looking for more of these, please head on over to caffeination.com or you can follow us on YouTube. There's plenty of different places you can find us hanging around. But thank you very much and stay caffeinated, people.